you're down on the shot, you're just about to shoot a nine ball, you feel confident, you're going down, feeling the pressure, and then you do this. Just leave a opposite side. I know how it feels. These mistakes get in the way so many times, but there's still a way to work with it, to improve, to get better, to overcome these mistakes as much as possible. Here are the three mistakes that pretty much everybody does. So I'm ready for the training session. I'm gonna change my clothes and get rid of this stuff. So the first mistake is body movement. And of course it's a given, right? We are in a precision sport. That means we have to work accurate or accurately. Sorry for my English, <laughs> but we have to work. We have to be precise. So of course you can imagine that every extra movement is influencing your stroke. And I lost track now on what to say. Body movement. Your stroke, your shot, your results. But still, we do it. We do it all the time. Have you ever heard a commentator say this? Ouch. Wow. Did she lift her head there? Uh, was... Yes, she did move. So from now on, when you hear, did he move his head? Did she jump up? It's all body movement. When you go down, until you have reached your final parking position, there is no stroking. Once I've reached my final position, that's the moment when I start stroking. And from that moment on, there is no body movement allowed. So there is no body movement like this, or just the head, or moving sideways, nothing. Everything stays still. So one thing is not moving before you shoot the shot. But very often it actually happens during the shot. And that's actually the tricky one. And it looks a little bit like this. And I know what some of you might say now. Well, but I moved after I hit the cue ball. Did you really? Are you sure? Are you 100% sure? Even on days where you're not playing well, when your timing is off, why take the risk? Right? Set up a line of 15 balls and now play a normal stop shot. Make sure the shot is not too difficult because I want you to focus more on your body movement and not so much on putting. Play a stop shot and stay down and calm as long as possible. Really overdo it because that way your brain will memorize it much better. So stay down until the object ball is in the pocket. Adjust the drill according to your level so if you want to you can change the distance. Play these drills like 3 times 15 balls and include that drill as often as possible. Mistake number two is change your aiming once you are down. Change your aiming once you're down. Some of you are probably thinking, well, I'm not a good enough player yet. You know, when I go down on a shot and I see that I'm wrong, I change it, I adjust it because I'm a beginner, I'm an amateur, I just started or whatever. My answer would be, oh no, <laughs> no, no, that's not the right way to do it. You gotta start right from the beginning because if you do it wrong and then you wanna change it later, it's gonna be even more difficult. That means the aiming process starts as soon as you line up for the shot. When you look at the spot on the object ball and the cue ball and then you line up and then you go down, you're kind of going into the shot, that's the aiming part. As soon as you're down on the shot, there is no readjusting. There is no changing. If you're not right, if you're not 100% sure, get back up and do it right. When you work on your aiming, make sure you set up easy standard angle shots. Then go to the object ball, find the spot, then go back to the cue ball, get in line, go down and make sure your aiming is correct. If it's not correct, if you don't feel comfortable, get back up and do it again. Please make sure that when you work on your aiming that you really take your time and really focus on the aiming part and getting in line. If you're still wrong, if you still miss the ball afterwards, look at the result and then adjust accordingly. You can always change the drill according to your level, so change the distances or the angles. 
Whenever you play this drill, make sure you play three times 15 balls and include that drill as often as you can in your training session. And last but not least, mistake number three. No dedication. Yeah. Jumped up, was already playing the position for the nine even before she hit the, the eight ball. And it's, that was a little bit like the six. Not being dedicated basically means you hesitated. Hesitation is visible in your stroke, in your shot. So I give you an example. You're at the table, you're looking around, checking out the situation, evaluating everything, ready for the shot. And then, for example, you get those funny thoughts, insecurities. You're starting to think, mm, should I, should I play this shot? No, should, I'm not feeling comfortable with that draw shot. Should I, should I play more English? Um, should I go the other way? All of that happens in a split of a second, but you're staying down because you're thinking, oh, these thoughts will go away, which they never, um, and then you shoot the shot. And then you're surprised because you hesitated. You didn't go through the ball. You didn't play the shot with 100%. I was questioning myself, and this is something that will create mistakes. It's not easy, isn't it? In this case, I would suggest playing easy standard position drills, because that way you will have to come up with a plan on how to play this situation. So look at all the angles, look at all the lines, look at the spot on the object ball, try to figure out which type of shot you're going to play with what speed. So really take your time and make up a plan. Then go down and execute the shot and be dedicated 100%. When you practice this, you will soon realize that it's kind of practicing your pre-shot routine. And I think the pre-shot routine is pretty important. If you want to be dedicated 100% because it will force you to make up a plan and know exactly what you want to do before you do it. You can also set up straight balls and play draw shots because with draw shots, you also have to be dedicated 100%. Otherwise, they very often don't turn out as well as possible. When you miss, repeat it until you get it right. Play this drill three times 15 balls as often as you can. So that's it for this video. Three things to remember. Don't move around, get the aiming right, and dedicate to the shot. With that, you can definitely decrease the mistakes, but don't forget, we're humans, we make mistakes. So until my next video, have fun practicing, and I talk to you soon.